Christian Horner is out to wound Lewis Hamilton with his words. The Red Bull team principal mentioned that if there's anyone to weigh in on the team's current dominance, the seven-time world champion should be the last person doing so. The shift back to ground effect aerodynamics in Formula One has ushered in a new era of one-team dominance, with Red Bull now setting an impressive standard. The 2023 drivers and constructors titles have been secured for quite some time now, signifying consecutive double title victories for Max Verstappen and Red Bull. Verstappen has clinched 17 out of the 20 Grand Prix victories available this season. Hamilton and the Mercedes team are now part of the chasing pack, trying to figure out a strategy to counter the relentless Red Bull onslaught. Hamilton went on to label their competitor, the RB19, as the most dominant he has encountered throughout his Formula One career. He emphasized to Formula One and the FIA that such overwhelming dominance isn't healthy for the sport. Horner disagrees with that perspective, especially coming from a driver who secured six world championship titles with Mercedes during the remarkable streak of eight consecutive constructors' titles from 2014 to 2021. Horner, who characterized Mercedes' level of dominance as obscene at certain points during that period, expressed his belief that Hamilton shouldn't be voicing his opinions on the matter. He made an attention-grabbing statement on the F1 with DRS podcast when he said, I feel like he's got selective memory. So, you know, some of the winning that they did in that period was just obscene. We've had a good run for a couple of years, but the one guy that shouldn't be saying that, I would think, is Lewis. Red Bull's ascent to the summit of F1 followed the thrilling 2021 title battle between Verstappen and Hamilton. Verstappen emerged victorious on the final lap of the season in Abu Dhabi, kickstarting his world championship tally. Horner, understandably, given the taxing experience of 2021 that aged him physically, is content with securing some less stressful title victories now. But it's been noted that this may not contribute to the overall entertainment value of F1. Regardless, Horner remains optimistic, asserting that there is a certainty that the grid will come together in the upcoming years. Teams like McLaren, Mercedes, Ferrari, and Aston Martin are expected to fiercely compete for positions in the best of the rest pack. One question of external concerns about Red Bull's dominance ever crosses his mind, Horner responded, saying, Well look, my job is to make sure we're winning. That's my job. And 21 was the biggest fight in the history of the sport. It was just heavyweight from the first race to the final in Abu Dhabi, where the two drivers ended up with the same points. Unbelievable. And that year aged me physically. So, the last couple of years have been kind of pleasant that they've been slightly less stressful. But what you can guarantee is that the field is going to converge, and it's only a matter of time, and you can already see that happening. So what will happen is 24, 25, you're going to see the field come much closer. You're starting to see it. And the cars? There's things that we can see on the McLaren and think, okay, we recognize that. It looks a lot like our solution, but that's the way Formula One works. And next year, a lot of the cars will look the same, I'm sure, because there'll be that convergence. Now, it'll spread again in 26 when the new regs come out, but for the next couple of years, it's going to converge. The lesser appeal of Red Bull's dominance for some fans, especially when put up against Lewis Hamilton's era, is partly due to Verstappen facing virtually zero competition from his teammate. While Sergio Perez claimed victory in two Grand Prix in the initial four rounds of F1 2023, any aspirations of a title challenge quickly dwindled. Verstappen's current tally of 17 Grand Prix victories includes a remarkable streak of 10 consecutive wins. Despite the expected convergence in the field, Horner argues that it wouldn't be logical for Red Bull to have two Alphas as drivers. Even though it might generate a more intense intra-team rivalry and enhance entertainment value, such a setup is deemed impractical by Horner. He said, Therefore, for us, sticking two Alphas in the car, you take a Verstappen and a Hamilton, that is never going to work, because then you kill your own team. You need to have a dynamic in the team where the drivers are driving for the team, not just themselves. Otherwise, it can become so, so divisive. If Lewis Hamilton does in fact have selective memory, there's at least one experience he won't forget anytime soon, his defeat in Abu Dhabi. And according to former Formula One star Timo Glock, the legal dispute involving Felipe Massa over the 2008 World Championship could potentially have serious implications for Max Verstappen's 2021 title. Massa initiated legal proceedings against the FIA and F1 officials following comments made by former F1 CEO Bernie Ecclestone regarding the Crashgate scandal. 
Ecclestone claimed that both he and the FIA chairman Max Mosley were aware of Renault's wrongdoings at the 2008 Singapore Grand Prix before any investigation took place, but they allegedly chose to overlook the issue to prevent a scandal in the sport. Massa took action in response to these comments, believing that if the incident had been investigated earlier, the championship result may have been nullified. In that season, Lewis Hamilton won the world championship by a margin of just one point. Now, Glock suggests that the result of this legal challenge could directly affect the legitimacy of Verstappen's contested first trophy. As I'm sure everybody remembers, Verstappen secured the 2021 title with a last lap overtake on Hamilton in the season's final race in Abu Dhabi. Although the race offered a dramatic finale, the FIA later acknowledged that human error from then race director Michael Massey resulted in lapped cars being instructed to overtake the safety car. This left Verstappen right behind Hamilton on fresh tires. Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff recently stated that Massa's legal challenge would set a precedent for future disputes involving contentious world championship titles. Now, Glock appears to share a similar view. He told Planet F1, Well, it's a good question. I mean, I'm not 100% sure if it's the right way to do it, let's say. I was surprised when I saw it because, you know, after such a long time to go in front of court, I don't know if it will work out for him. I mean, he knows what he's doing. He knows the facts. I don't know the facts, actually. What are the details of it? So we will see. In the end, if he makes the step and even wins it, we could see another court facing maybe Lewis Hamilton against Max Verstappen. So I don't know if it's the right side for the sport. But, in the end, I'm not in all those details involved. So I don't know. I was surprised when I saw that. Since then, however, Max Verstappen has enjoyed an uninterrupted period of success that isn't showing any sign of stopping anytime soon. Some have credited the RB19 for this, but as Sergio Perez has proven, it takes more than a fast machine to dominate the rest of the grid. Raymond Vermeulen, Max Verstappen's manager, mentioned that having a supportive team around the Dutchman has been instrumental in enabling him to deliver his peak performance during the 2023 season. Vermeulen, along with Jos Verstappen, Max's father and a successful Formula One driver himself maintains a close relationship with a three-time world champion. Together, they handle off-track matters for the Dutchman. He shared this insight on the F1 Nation podcast, saying, I've been working with Max for a very long time now, and he is very determined to perform and get it done, so we are supportive in that role. I think it's good to have some solid anchors around him. I have worked with Jos, so I know Max since he was born. We have an unconditional trust in each other, so I think he can concentrate on the racing side and the technical part, and we are taking care of the rest, so he is fully focused on the job he has to do, and I'm doing my job. Yoss is doing his job, and everyone is performing in the best way possible. While Verstappen's championship streak began in 2021 with a narrow victory over Lewis Hamilton, what he has achieved since then can be arguably considered even more impressive. The manner in which he has outperformed the competition over the last two seasons highlights the significant improvement Verstappen has achieved as a driver. He has learned how to control weekends from start to finish. But what do you think? What is the secret ingredient to Max Verstappen's success? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for the hottest F1 news.